is today the day we finally pop off the uh the league war <laughs> hard to say maybe maybe not but welcome back everybody to uh Bunta Coup. hope you've been enjoying the campaign i've been having a lot of fun with it so our truce with we don't have a truce with these guys we don't have a claim on them they are still a free city Ugh. yeah this isn't gonna happen actually maybe since they're on the opposite team it's hard to say i don't actually know how that works i would love to get Castile, oh nice. Let's go. If Castile joins the uh, Protestant League, that would be super good for us. Yep, Castile is rival to Russia, but that's it for them. Who are you at war with? Some like OPM? Oh, over here, Kilwa. Very cool. All right, we're handling their rebels for them. But yeah, look at Prussia now. With the economy that we've granted them with subsidies, they're uh, they're going to be able to land quite the army. All right, Thuringia could join our coalition, but I'm going to send them a little gift. I already have. Let's improve relations with them just for like a, a couple of months so they don't join our coalition. Very good. And improve with them through the end of the year, I suppose. I love how it feels like Guns, Drums, and Steel has been playing a lot lately. I'm not going to complain. Uh, it's grown on me. I, I was skeptical at first, but uh, it has grown on me quite a bit. I was a huge fan of the originals. Definitely want to be building these. Absolutely. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's uh, delete the church here and build... Oh, let's, uh, first of all, let's upgrade that fort. Let's upgrade all my forts. With the League War coming up, I definitely want to be doing that. All right, let's also build one over here. Might as well build one here. And then upgrade these ones for him as well. Probably should have one on his capital, but uh, I've already dubbed the crap out of Konigsberg. Yeah, Tip mill coming very soon, so that'll be good. We can build that over here, which, you know, means we're going to have to develop. It's a bummer that I can't delete sub... Uh, prov um, what's the word I'm looking for? Things in my... Um, provinces for my subject. I'm I'm not sure. If I annex Prussia, I suppose I could probably form them. Maybe. I don't know exactly how the rules work for that. But uh, here we go. We are making progress. We're going to get our first gems province down here. And that doesn't even... I mean, <laughs> that's not going to do anything because it's here. We're going to end up needing to uh, move our trade capital probably into the North Sea. No rush, though. We're, we're in a good spot. Oh, my gosh. Our force limit is 128. Now, yeah, we should probably get some more cannons. Realistically, I should just uh, make a make a make a stack here. So let, we got 29 as our combat width. So let's make a template here. Uh, what mill tech are we on? 16 coming up. So I think we can probably get rid of our cav. So we'll go 29. And then we'll go... 31. That'll make it a clean 60. Once these guys are built up, I'll group up my armies and have them conform to a template. Generals are dying. Feels bad, man. But it is what it is. Let's uh, make sure we're docking this up so we're not losing a bunch of sailors. Looks like we don't actually use that much, which is kind of cool. Um, do we need to upgrade our ships? Oh boy, do we. Yeah, especially if we're going to be going to war with Britain during the, uh, the League War. These little things you got to be mindful of. Um, I'll definitely take the mercantilism. This is so dumb. I cannot get them to join. They just will not join the League War. I guess I'm going to lose some money here. No big deal. All right, we're well out of time. Get that global settler increase. Help us make our uh, get our colonies up a little bit faster. All my generals are dying. Trade steering sounds good, man. Oh my gosh, we're collecting so much money from trade. That is nutty. B Hanover. Step one. Step two. Question mark. Question. Question mark. Step three. Profit. That's how we do it. All right, let's up. Eh, we don't need that fort. Let's just get rid of this fort here. 
and I can click this button here, which gives us permanent claims on some land that I already have. This one here gives us some more permanent claims on some land that I do not have. Okay. And then this one here gives us a bunch of sailors and some more claims. Now this one here, I need to have bigger Navy than these guys and I can get a PUCB on them if I was a, a monarchy. So we're going to not click this until we have flipped. And uh, th in order to do this, I'm just going to tank my Republican tradition by in the lottery selecting an old man who's, you know, ideally got the best mana gen, but it doesn't matter because the idea is, is that they will die fast. All right, Britain has attacked those guys. Who are you at war with them, Britain? It's just 1v1? Yeah. Why will Russia not join, man? I wish I knew but why. Like I could attack, but it, it would it will be an absolute slugfest. If Russia wasn't in debt, they would consider it. These guys would totally consider it. All right. Let's get our claim here. Now Austria will still help them. Feels bad, man. All right. So, let's recall you guys and curry some favors with our allies. I will pay off Russia's debt, no problem. I am definitely going to need to um, get my trust up with these guys. The higher it is, the more likely they are to join my wars. And as long as I have 20, I'll be able to, you know, get them to prepare for war. So then I can just call them into the eight, to the League War. It doesn't matter. They don't have to actually be on the side of the League War as long as they're on my side in the League War, right? As an ally. Come on, man. It's fine. It improves our relations, yeah? No? Yeah. This is stupid. <laughs> it doesn't even give you reasons. But it, it gives you it gives you like negative relations if you don't do it. Kind of a stupid thing in my opinion. But yeah, if I can't get the League War to fire, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to force force the issue here. So let's see here. Russia. If they weren't in debt, they would only be minus four, so they would join. Alright. Castile would join likely if they weren't in another war, yeah. Hmm. Distant war. So probably not. Hmm. Don't know. This would be fine, though. So the way that I would probably handle this... So let's take a look at the League War. The border will be... So as far as I'm concerned, France will handle Aragon. I will handle Britain from even being able to land by building up my navy. You got to remember, France also has a navy. I think it was Connor in the comments pointed that out. So... That is not something I'm concerned about. I'm not concerned about naval dominance. I am concerned about Britain's like just being broken and having the wooden wall. So if we go to navies, heavy ships, we have 40. Britain has 21, but theirs out uh, are better than ours, right? We have to upgrade them. Whew. Yeah, definitely gonna have to do that. So let's do that then. I'm just going to take out one loan to upgrade my ships. And the Kriegsmarine. That's fine. The sooner we do it, the better. Because if we're going to attack, we might as well attack. Let my boys upgrade. This is fine. It's a lot of money I just got back. I'll pay off my loan. Nice. <laughs> and then... Um... Hmm. <laughs> Over our governing capacity. Right, you'll have that. Which states? So this one here. Let's centralize that state. Centralize this state. Might as well centralize this one. Definitely centralize this one. Put you guys on no edict. That's fine. That'll help out a bit. Build a couple of these guys. And that should get us under. 
And then... Alright, now we're just going to hold off for a second. Yeah, I'll have to help Russia pay off their debts. But then they'll join. And that will definitely help even it out a bit. So I'll help them pay it off piecemeal. There's not really, really an easy way to do this. The AI is notoriously very like unreliable about paying off their debts whenever you give them money. But it's the best way that we have available to us right now because they're a great power. So they did pay off some of it. So they would actually join us right now even. So if we come here and we say uh, prepare for war, they have plus 20 reasons. Before I actually declare the war though, let's have you guys handle them. Let's get our armies grouped up. Okay. The prepare for war lasts for a year, so there's no, no rush. So what you do is you get your armies grouped up here and you say conform to a template, collect the template that you uh, selected. And then get rid of all the cab because we don't want them. And the guys that got detached here, this is a, this is our template here. And these guys here, we'll have them form a second template, which we need some money. So I think what I'm going to do... Oh, right, I can't. Okay, let's... um. Can I get the nobility? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hanover base tax, at least eight. North Sea Empire. Ugh. Okay, whatever. Let's just deal with some, deal with some rebels, I suppose. And then I want to, uh, I just want a little bit of money to um, upgrade these guys as well. The sooner we can get into the war, the better. I'm just gonna leave these guys here. I don't actually wanna use them. I'll use them for over here, but I won't use them for the major war, for the main war rather. They don't wanna leave the Baltic. All right, let's see here. If I were to attack, Russia would indeed join. You see the numbers are much more reasonable on our side. Let's do it. Leroy. Leroy Jenkins. It's a big war. And look at that. Castile will join now. Heck yeah, bro. Why? I have no idea. But now the numbers are much more reasonable in our favor. They're actually in our favor. We have 50,000 more cavalry than they do. 40,000 more cannons. What is that? 50-some thousand more infantry. May the odds be ever in your favor. I'm going to switch this guy over. And let's go with a tax guy, I suppose. All right. Um, I'm going to take out a couple of loans here to build up to this, uh, build up these guys up to this template. Apparently that's going to take us over our limit. Right. Let's just get rid of this army over here. That's fine. As soon as they're done. Very good. Okay. We're definitely going to need to go down to speed four for this one. So this is a show superiority war. So we got to be mindful of that. These guys need one more month to repair. We should be able to just completely take Britain out. So 114,000 of infantry shouldn't even be a, be an issue here, right? Let's try to micro this just a little bit and say that we want the Ruskies to handle this. So that's Prussia. Where's Russia here? Oh my gosh. Imagine trying to do this without a UI mod that makes things bigger. All right, Russia. Russia. So basically I want Russia to push over on this front. And uh, I imagine they would in, in general, but it should be like a slugfest between the Russia and the Ottomans over here. And that'll probably be a pretty good fight. The Commonwealth is not going to put up. They're going to be completely occupied, I reckon. It is a show superiority war, so it's probably not going to go very well in our favor. But you can separate piece everybody out individually. So it shouldn't be much of an issue. Now, as soon as we get these guys repaired up. Very good. Oh, look at this. So what we can do here is just chill. And let these guys take some naval attrition. Ah! They're, they're wussing out. Yeah, okay, this is fine. Put it into the treasury. Yes, please. Get my armies grouped up over here. All right. So... These guys are on rebel suppression. Gotta be smart, though. If I'm gonna park half my army. I want them to stand on a province with a general. All right, let's have these guys hunt enemy fleets in the North Atlantic. We have the state of the art galleons, 40 of them. Let's just detach these transports. We do not need them in the fight. It should be all heavies all the time. Heavies, it, galley spam is the best. I'm fully aware of that. But, um, oh wait, oh, are they PU'd? Did they PU Portugal? No, why is Portugal in the war? Attacker against Austria. 
Did they just join the league? They did. I didn't even realize it. That's incredible. Okay, cool. Heck yeah. I did not even realize that they even joined. Well, happy times. Let's make sure we get our extra morale from Faith's Bastion. And this guy is living. Living a long time. So I have stolen two heavies, apparently, from Britain. They, uh, yep, they only have 18 now. Oh, look at this. Even with the wooden wall, they lost another one. Let's go. Let's have our ships head over and uh, repair on some friendly ports here. Local unrest in Holstein. Don't care. There we go. We can piece out these guys separately, and our cannons are building up over here. So, yeah. The cannons are definitely going to be in our favor. We could take Miltech. Oh, shoot. I'm going to do it. I'm totally going to do it. The extra cannon pips are going to be incredible. It will win us battles. Guaranteed. It will inflict so much extra casualties on them. So, these guys, we can piece them out separately. They do get an extra minus 50 from the Religious League CB. So, we're going to have to basically get them full occupied and have their war exhaustion stacking up. So, this is a nice opportunity in this war to take some land that we have claims on. AKA, we can take Altmark. <laughs> That's literally it. So, we'll piece, separate piece these guys out to take Altmark. But we might take a little bit more. Let's see here. Because the League War does give you some bonuses, right? It's only 50% cost. So, we could look for like a separate piece on... You know, somebody like oh, Aragon ate those guys up. So, for example, like these guys are probably too much development, but like you can see, because they're all considered co belligerents, every one of them, except for the allies, of course. Like these guys, I could totally separate piece them for a set for a vassalization right now. I'm not going to, but I could. I have the option available to me. Pretty useful. The League War is a, is a great opportunity to grow. So let's take a look at uh, who the electors are. So Bohemia. Is it, who all is in this war? So Trent. Okay. Oh, we might be able to. Trier. Uh, Trier is on our side. So if I can ally them, which I can. Palatinate is in the war. We can ally them as well. So the goal, the goal here is since we're in the war, they'll ally us, even though we're at war, right? And then, mines. So we, we have Trier and these guys as allies. Now we need to occupy their capital, their capital, their capital, their capital. Oh, Saxony's on our side in the war as well. Yep. Okay. This We're totally going to be able to dismantle now. So now you can see, if to, to dismantle the HRA, we need to occupy Bohemia, Brandenburg, Mines, and Trent. Their capitals. And then we can dismantle the HRA. So we're going to do that. That will make it so much easier to expand. <laughs> so this just got a lot more exciting. Now you can see here, Russia and uh, the auto derps are definitely going to be slugging it out over here. Now, I'm going to need to uh, manage this a little bit because I can't be letting them just... The Council of Trent has ended. Very good. Let's uh, head on down and siege down Praha. I got to make sure we're not letting these guys siege down too many forts over here as well. Mm, seven heavies. Ooh, yikes. Really? There's four of them. Alright, let's have those guys grouped up with our navy here. We lost a couple of ships here. Britain's down to 12. Ottomans have 28 heavies? Are you serious, bro? I, I doubt we would see them come out of the... Uh, the Mediterranean, but oh my goodness, that's a lot. All right, let's have you guys hunt enemy fleets in the North Atlantic. Break off the, the broken ones. The battered and broken. And here we go. So these two, these two are required. Now all we need to siege down is Trent. Let's see who's down here. Oh, Trent is... Right, so let's see if I can get, like, France to focus on Trent. And then see if we can get Castile to focus on these guys. I mean, generally they will, but I don't see any any reason why I shouldn't. Like, why do they have a 25 stack just standing here? I have no idea. But, uh, yep, as I said, Commonwealth is probably going to get full occupied. <laughs> to be expected. They're not feeling too good, Mr. Stark. 
We're going to have two sieges done here soon. There you go. Brandenburg's over here getting disease outbreaks after disease outbreaks. Now, I'm, I want to give this to my uh, subject here, Prussia, for defensiveness purposes, but I'm pretty sure that it doesn't count then. No, it does. Okay. I think it's just the emperor's capital that you have to occupy directly. It's like a weird little like mishap in the code, but it's not a big deal. All right. Let's force march over here just to make sure there's no shenanigans going on. I can march from right past this fort zone of control because I'm a cheater. I think it's because we have a fort over here. All right. Hopefully we can wipe these guys. Oh, baby. That's some casualties. All right. Look at this Aragon army. Why does Aragon have 50,000 men in Prussia? I have literally no idea. But I'm not going to ask any questions. Yep, we're not going to click this. We will not click that. So this should be an easy clap. We should... Mm, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look at the losses they're taking. Are you kidding me? 600 to... Th they're taking well over double our losses. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> what the world? <laughs> oh no. Look. <laughs> oh, our ideas are so good. The fire damage received means our cannons, or the fire damage means our our cannons do extra. We have discipline, so we receive less casualties. Oh wait, do I not do extra fire damage? Yeah, land fire damage. Plus, you have to remember we have this professionalism, which means we do an extra five percent fire and shock. Our armies are very strong. <laughs> I love that. That's so good. Okay, yep. So Russia's over here, but here's the nice thing. If they occupy and they like beat the tar out of Russia, as soon as they peace out Russia, all of those occupations go away and it does, isn't counted against us for war score. So that's pretty good. Let us detach you guys and get rid of those ships. I don't want them. Looks like we're going to sink a couple of transports. Down to 10. There's nine of them. All is well. This war is coming along very smoothly. This is a fort as well, so I'll give it to Prussia. And again, the reason why you give it to Prussia, 7% defensiveness, 40% defensiveness. That means if an enemy gets on it, it takes them longer to siege it down than it would for me. And I don't care about standing all my men on these armies because we have plenty of manpower in, in uh, here, and it just makes it so you don't have to micro your armies nearly as much. All right. And Celia has pieced out. Oh no, anyways. Why was Celia even in the war? Oh, because they were in the Protestant League, right. See, I, I know some of these things. Let's, um... So he is a 3-4. I think that's reasonable. Let's shift consolidate. Take some Diplomana. Sounds good. We've won the Siege of Prague. Take your shots, boys, if you are of legal drinking age. So is the tradition. Let's get these guys occupied to the best of our abilities for a second here. Just carpet siege them down. Oh my gosh. The minus one is so powerful. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're taking such heavy losses. Yikes. So I've lost... Me alone have lost 24,000 to attrition. Austria has lost 20. Ottomans have lost 45. How much to attrition? Ottomans are really good. Oh, yeah, they've lost most of their men to attrition. The Ottomans are really good about losing their men to attrition. Let's say I get over to a farmlands province and let my boys recoup for a few months. As soon as I occupy these provinces here, this is totally fine. They're going to head into Prague, and we will head in. We need a better general. Five fire is much better for me. We will steamroll them. I doubt they're going to reinforce because they're, they're going to know that, that is a total loss for them. This is Highland, so I don't want to attack them there if I can. These provinces are all uh, forts here. Where are you guys going, huh? Yeah. Fort Zone of Control is just going to take all that back. No big deal. This is totally fine. Like, this is exactly what I want. Is Aust or The Ottomans out here just destroying themselves on, um, on the uh, Russian attrition. But as I said, 112,000 men that have nothing to do with the war. It's incredible. Okay. Are these guys broken? This army's been standing here and is not moving. Hmm. Okay, I think in between episodes, I'm going to restart the uh, the save here and, and see if maybe that can kind of jostle the AI. But uh, lads, that's a good place to call it. If you guys are excited to see where we can come up with, if we're, do you think we're going to be able to dismantle? Because uh, I feel pretty good about it. 
We only need two more two more sieges to uh, yep, Austria, Mines, and Trent, and we'll be able to piece out this or dismantle the HRE. And uh, that is pretty cool. But uh, yes, if you want to uh, show your support, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, ding the bell, join my Discord, my subreddit, my Twitter, follow my second channel, Chubert. Link in the description below. And uh, support me on Patreon if you have it within your means, because that really is what allows this channel to thrive and uh, continue with the daily content every single day. I upload videos for you guys, and uh, patrons are really what fund it. So if you want to help it out, check out the link in the description. But that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later.